Hello everyone, my name is Marie Matheson and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, today I'm going to be talking about when I was in a freak show. Before I jump into it, as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really, really appreciate the support. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. So I'm going to be playing some footage on the screen and then I'm just going to be talking about what it was like and whatnot. So I'm just going to play the video here. So before I talk about the freak show, I'm just going to explain what you're looking at here. So you have Rima the bird girl who's actually putting raunchy rabies into a bag and then I'm going to come up on stage and th she's going to vacuum seal us in that bag together. I was in a freak show from approximately the age of 20 to 22. I did two different freak shows. The one that you see here on the screen is the Angry Teeth Freak Show which was in Saskatchewan and then I was in another one but I only did one show with them. It was the Monsters of Schlock. I will go into more details with them closer to the end of this video because it was a cool story, but again, I only did one show with them. So you're probably wondering how I got into the freak show. So the job I was working at in my early 20s, one of my co-workers had actually went up to my auntie and asked if I would be offended if she invited me to the freak show and if I'd be interested to join. And of course, my auntie was like, no, not at all. And she came to me and my auntie was right because I, I wasn't just not offended, I was interested in joining. And honestly, if I didn't move from Saskatchewan to Ontario, I would have stayed in it a lot longer than I did. So as much as I don't regret being in the freak shows, these were definitely dark days for me. And I'm not gonna go into details with it right now, but I will for sure expand upon it in future videos. So it wasn't your traditional freak show. We actually performed on stage with a, a goth rock band. We basically played the music and during certain sets or during certain songs, we would go on and, and perform different tricks or stunts. Everybody who performed, whether it was a musicians or from the freak show, they were all just such great people. I just want to shout out Xerxes, who's the lead vocalist, because he helped put this video together with me. He essentially sent me a lot of the footage and I was able to then kind of create the content today. So thank you so very much. So the next part I'm going to show here is just to help give you more of a feel of how the show went. All of the footage in this next part is from New Jacobin's 2010 album, This Treason. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description for this album. So with that, let's meet some of the other performers. I'm the bird girl, and I was born in a tree. So I am the geek, the girl with the iron stomach. I'm also the strong woman. I can tear phone books in half, inflict a lot of pain on the other girls, and take a little bit myself. Well, I'm Firecrouch Jones, and mainly I started out doing fire, but I kind of got hooked, so now I do the human pincushion, the machete bed, the... Uh, like the beheading, the wax, the syringes, the stapling, pretty much anything that I can do, right? And I'm always trying to outdo myself to do the more painful and scary tricks. The freak show is an extension and we're tickled as shit to be involved with what they're able to do as well. And we feel it's mutual, so they bring elements to our show and we bring elements to their show that uh, neither of our groups can can do on our own so it's uh, it's great. Like I think it's been a really good marriage of creative juices. I mean Xerxes and the rest of NJC like have a vision of where they want to go and what they're doing and I think it matches up really well. We would like to advise you um, fans of the new Jacobin Club Angry Teeth Freak Show to not go home and either douse yourself in kerosene or staple paper and set it on fire. We, we only surround ourselves with women that can kick the shit out of the band. So there were a lot of things that I personally did not do. I didn't do this. I think it's called blockhead, where you basically hammer a nail into your nose. So we do not do this next stunt here. Rima the Bird Girl is laying on a bed of knives right now and they're putting a real cinder block on her and they're going to smash the cinder block with a real sledgehammer. I didn't know if it would work the same with me as it would for somebody who is average size and I didn't want to do any permanent damage. 
so I just didn't even try it. I also was never open to eating anything gross. Anybody who knows me knows that I have like a really picky palate and I like really bland food and I'm kind of sensitive with different food textures. But I would feed like the gross stuff to different people, whether it's the audience or other performers. Here at Slide Worms. But I tried very hard to be open to trying new things and pushing myself to the limits of what I thought I could control and what I felt was safest. I, I don't have a lot of footage of it, but I did swallow fire like these ladies are here. I also had mouse traps on my tongue. I also was cattle prong. I jumped a fire rope. They have staple guns in their hands and they're basically stapling paper to one another. So I had paper, flash paper, and money stapled to me. We also had needles into our bodies. I don't have a lot of footage. The footage that you had just seen there is the only footage I have of it. So essentially they're just burning their arms and their stomach and their skin uh, with the fire and then I'm gonna come on stage they're going to burn my arms and then I'm going to take it and I'm supposed to be lighting both the microphones on fire. Unfortunately, I'll slow down, but right here, the flash paper caught on fire before I ever got the torch. So it didn't go flawlessly, but they did burn my arms and then I did light the one microphone here on fire. I'm going to play NJC's new promo here. Make sure to check them out. freak shows one quick second oh this shirt is tight i definitely don't fit into it like i used to but this is the other freak show that i was in so this is how it started so when i first moved to ontario i actually did door-to-door -door sales i was knocking on all these doors and all of a sudden this guy opens it up and he's like declining what i'm selling and after asking a little bit he told me that he was in the freak show and I was like no way and I just like forgot that I was working and just like talked to him about the freak show and it was so cool he was so so nice and he basically invited me to join one of their shows and I was more than excited to do it out of every door I could have knocked on and I was very lucky um he actually holds a Guinness Book World Record for the most mouse traps on your tongue in a minute so his name is Pepper. I felt so privileged and I was so grateful in the moment. Work with Orbax and with Pepper. And I was also able to meet the Lizard Man, which was really, really cool. They're all amazing guys, amazing performers. And I'll just be honest, I didn't do very much in that show. I learned to crack a whip. I learned how to like spin plates. I'm pretty sure I even have a set that I bought after that because I was like, yes, this is what I want to do. I mean, they were plastic plates, they were super, super easy, but either way, I loved being able to expand my knowledge and kind of see the same type of things being performed, but in a completely different way. They were just amazing to work with. Yeah, I'm not really sure what these guys are up to, but if you want to check it out, I'm going to go ahead and put their, their website and their details and their social media and anything else is down in my in the description as well as put something here on the screen. So now before I go ahead and end this, I uh, don't think that there's going to be freak show stuff in, in my near future. So if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. All right, I'll see you guys next time.